I did it. <gasps> we did it. Hi guys, new league here. My name is Expedition. And today, wait, hold on. I'm Noogie. And we're going to play Expedition. Um, 3.15 is starting today. It's exciting. Uh, a few things to share. Let me share this first thing. Uh, so yesterday on the Stalling podcast, the four guys decided to do a little wager, and I decided to join in alongside Mr. Rice QT, and I think Dead Mods is joining us as well. So pretty exciting. You might know what's the wager, Noogie? Well, the wager is as long as Methyl is playing hardcore SSF. We cannot use logger macros. So if we want to go somewhere, it's through a portal scroll or moving. And if we're dying, you better get used to portaling out. No logging out. I believe since the last couple of leaks, I've forgotten to turn it on so much, so I'm prepared. Not so sure about the rest. The rest of these guys seem pretty stuck on their logger macros. I mean, maybe not Ryze because he's old like me. Uh, but definitely the rest of these youngins. Uh, so that's very exciting. Definitely a lot of rips. Hopefully, I mean, the game is getting harder and now we can't log out. Oh, no, 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 no. It's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be cool. Um, as for what build I'm gonna play, because I feel like the drama is over. Uh, we've had long talks over the last three videos. Uh, so this be a quicker one. Um, so... I'm going to play something very similar to the Lightning Striker in terms of how I build it. I'm playing a Raider again because it still has easy access to Ailment Immune. It's just overall really strong. And with the loss to mobility, um, Raider, and especially with the new best gem in the game for support, Nightblade. Nightblade is insane. It gives you Elusive Effect, Elusive, and Crit Multiplier at the same level as Crit Multiplier Gem. And a base crit? I I don't think that there is... This is an S tier support gem. So... I'll play this with the new Felix. Uh, or Spectral Helix. I call it Felix. He's Felix to me. Uh, so Felix will... Uh, so the damage of Felix is basically... Twice of Spectral Throw. And it can hit multiple times, but it's harder to hit it with multiple times. Or at least I've been told through the grapevine, Tarki said, Hey, a dev told me that it can hit multiple times with an internal cooldown that works similarly to Spectral Throw. It might not have the same internal cooldown. We don't know how to reset it, but it will it will be able to multi-hit. And with that, that makes it an incredibly potent single target skill. It looks super slow in terms of clearing, but then we're playing Raider. So I'm hoping that since we're losing damage, but I'm moving fast, and the skill will, for an area, once the blades start rolling, it'll control the area really well. You're constantly leeching, life gain on hitting, um, you know, you can good mobility. And then I'm hoping we can leverage its single target. To, to, to make a really good gem. If that sucks, I can always play Lightning Strike or I can play the new Storm Rain build, uh, Storm Rain gem, which will probably just need some gear that we can farm with this variation and then we can always swap. Uh, if not that, you know, there is Lightning Strike as well as an option. Uh, this, this tree right here would be for a double cluster setup, um, you know, because the projectile medium cluster is really good. Uh, as you can see, it's very low life, but it has four gems that would you would have life on it. And you can actually get life on the setup here as well. So you would probably get go for that eventually as well. So this is like the super in-game mega damage route. You can like skip this maybe. Crit is going to be hard to obtain because we don't have a diamond flask anymore. So that's the downside of playing a crit build. So we'll see how we get around then. Uh, other options for setting up the build would be... I'm not sure about point blank. Point blank is going to be a maybe because the way the point blank works is that the further it travels, so the longer duration it spins, basically it, it, it acts as if it's getting further away from the original starting point. So if you're hitting multiple times more than once, then point blank might actually be terrible. 
it could be good only as a it could be good as a if you're trying to upfront only with the one hit but if you're double hitting i think it's going to be not good uh, however this long shot node uh, which gains damage over time should be better and it also has proc speed and i'm hoping that proc speed is going to be a good stat so i have these nodes available this is good proc speed like as you can see uh, everything is basically available around where you want it. It's very compact, uh, so there's a lot of potency there. Uh, we can also go over here later on if we want that. Uh, which would cost us uh, cluster dual setups. Uh, which is most likely going to be my starting setup. This right here. Uh, something like this. I think I had a variation that had even more life. I mean, you could probably have a variation that takes this as well, I guess, somehow. Uh, maybe we go... I don't know. Like Maybe you cut that later on. Do something like this. I mean, there's a lot of different variations here. I mean, you can take stuff like... I mean, you can... There's a lot of life available. Um, where if we... If the damage... If we can leverage the damage of the skill... There is a lot of potential here. Um, with in terms of element immunity that a lot of people are using... Uh, we are going to take this cluster, which is 20. Then we're going to be... Um, we are going to be a raider, so what we need is we need another 30, which we can get off uh, the chest. If we don't get the chest, we can take these two nodes, and now we just need 20 total ailment, and we are just fine. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to build it elemental as well, so again, like the uh, lightning striker, I don't have... This is... I'm just going to run it, and we're going to test things as it goes. But what I can tell you is that you probably want precision, and then wrath or anger... Paired with added lightning or added cold. So flat damage stacking and then Trinity, of course. So that it'll that that'll be like your uh, your your base setup. Uh, this is also really good because uh, playing a skill like this allows us to really easily maintain a full duration um, a full duration fortify through vigilant strike. And that setup is, again, since the game's getting harder, especially crucial to maintain. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, small closet jewel here can be really good because you can take Force of Nature, Aspect of the Lynx. Uh, you can take Silent Step, so that's a good one. We could also convert later on with these nodes. Honestly, there are so many options on, uh, for this that could be good. If Proc Speed is really good, you can go this way as well. Uh, go either way here. And it would come at a cost somewhere. You know, there is... Options, options, options everywhere, basically. So I think this is looking as a good shell for a starting build. Um, this build or this particular setup with like additive damage stacking and Nightblade. And there was only two gems that really got hit hard, which was Trinity. And I mean, Inspiration got hit a little bit as well. So it's Trinity, Inspiration and... Uh, wet or whatever well we'd use the e was or whatever it's called now so those were hit and i would say the essence crafting also got hit because we can't do that as much anymore but you can still just run essences in haywalk and we're gonna do that and we're gonna do that with betrayal i think to get as many betrayal items as possible because they're very potent um so yeah that'll be my starter felix and if felix sucks we have options of lightning strike uh, we are raiders, so we can do the Storm Rain, we can do Spectre Throw, we can do any LA, LA skill, basically. Any conversion, any, any like, uh, dual or single um, stat. So, raider is just very potent, and I'm looking forward to playing it again. And I think it'll feel very good in the league, because uh, it'll not feel as harsh on the mobility lost as other builds. Since Smoke Mine is probably dead for, like, everyone. So, yeah. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it a lot. Uh, let me guys, but you uh, know what you guys are starting as a league starter. Uh, I'll be playing, going pretty hard. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling full of energy. Yeah. Um, really looking forward to the new challenge. I still hate Maven, so I mean, maybe we'll push Maven. We'll see. But if not, we'll push all the other content. Um, I don't know. I hate Maven. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, so I'm happy that I'm, I'm happy that the game is auto stalling for me, so I don't have to go there as fast. So that's great. Um, outside of that, 
I think this shakeup of a meta is going to be really good. I think attack skills, bow skills, spells, totems, minions. I think there is a lot of places for everything. Um, and I think the gap has closed up a bit, a little bit in terms of um, the outliers. We're not going to talk about the bad ones like aura stacking today. We've already talked to that length. If you want to like hear me complaining about that, listen to my recent video. Um, but yeah. If this fails, I'm very much thinking about maybe immediately re-rolling into a saboteur for like seismic trap stuff, blade trap stuff. Those two are looking mighty fresh. Um, are they good? I have no idea. Um, I have not played trap enough to be able to immediately identify whether or not they are. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of strike skills. Don't let Quinn trick you into thinking Bone Shatter sucks, because the numbers are looking mighty good. Um, so that could also be a, a meta skill later on with the right gear. Um, what else do we have? I mean, there's just a lot of good stuff. The chaos skills look really good. The minions, minion skills can always be insane, you know, so lots of cool stuff all around. But yeah, tell me what you're uh, playing. I'm gonna go stream. I'm starting somewhat early. Uh, and I'm probably going in, I'm probably going to like 3, 4, maybe 5 a.m. tonight and then we're gonna have a rest. And then it's going to be somewhere between 9 and 11 a.m. daily that we start and then we push for like 16, 18 hours probably daily with 5 to 6 hour sleeps in between for quite a while. So, hope to see you guys on the channel. I think that this is gonna be a super fun league. Um... Mainly because of the meta shakeup, the the league itself looks all right. I think the uh, the NPCs are looking really cool. Um, yeah, come hang out. I think we'll have really good energy on the channel for this this one. I don't know. I have a good feeling. I'll see you guys there. Bye bye. Wait, why am I clicking end? I just click stop record. <laughs>